Hey guys, Gargash here, and today I'm bringing you another marker review. Um, this one was kind of, I don't say it was unexpected because I did, you know, purchase these markers to start toying around with, but uh, I saw this brand, the Illy Markers from Art101 Creatives. Um, I saw them online on Walmart.com for, I want to say it was like, under, uh, it was either $20 or just under $20. It, it was fairly inexpensive and it, you get all three packs. And it got me interested because I had run across this version of them. Uh, in a, I think it was a five below. The $5 got me all of these. So it's essentially the entire pack without the blender, which each one says you get, you know, you get 10 colors plus a blender. I just got 10 colors. It worked fine enough for me. And uh, from what I remember, these are actually really good for what they were. I never did a video on them just because I was like, okay, so what do I, <laughs> what do, I do with these? Uh, I wasn't really doing much art at the time, so... Uh, yeah, so I'm going to get a piece of paper. We're gonna swatch them. I'm gonna compare the $5 version to the almost 20 set. See if there's any difference. If there isn't any difference, then I'll kind of give my verdict on that. And then I have a piece of artwork to actually color in with them. So let's get into it. down as smooth as I remember them going down. They're really nice. Uh, they are alcohol based so they dry almost instantly. And even with this one you can kind of see the streaks in it. I was trying to see if maybe you could see the streaks in all of them but they seem to blend on the paper well enough that you can you know go just go line after line and it'll sort of sort itself out. Uh, some colors it's a little more obvious than others, but, uh, yeah, it works fine, works really well for, uh, like a thin, kind of, like, pencil-sized alcohol marker. Um, the bullet nib is a little lacking, the brush, not brush tip, but the chisel nib actually shifts slightly, so it almost kind of feels like a brush nib, which is pretty cool. Um... That being said, uh, if you if you're looking for some good you know coloring markers or uh, maybe just want to add a you know pop a color to your sketchbook or something, really good. And since they are like you know like pencil sized, you could easily fit like a few of these in with your pencils and just have fun with it. And for five dollars, you can't really beat it. Uh, now then. We'll see if the Walmart bought, bought ones hold up any different. The, the containers look different, um, but that just might be, you know, how they decided to brand it or how they wanted to go with the uh, look of their product.
Alright. So now that that is finished, um Yeah, they they all look really nice down on the page. Um I did notice there's quite a few duplicates. Um I know they're not exact because this one's a a little more warm, this one's a little more cool, this is a little lighter and whatnot, but there's a lot of blues. There's a lot of blues, there's a lot of green. Um, which is not necessarily a bad thing, it's just something to note. Uh, I am happy that they had lots of shades for the neutrals, like, uh, we got a warm gray, a uh, super light warm gray, super light, uh, cool gray, a warm gray, the darkest warm gray that they got. Cool grays. So if you wanted a, you know, a set of gray tone markers, uh, their like neutral set was really good. Um, this, however, I, I was not too thrilled with, because the barrel, I can find it again, looked very, uh, very brown, kind of a golden color. And let's see here, this one, yeah. Um, I don't know about you, but this does not radiate like, um, kind of a pinkish bronze color to me. Um, the softness of the, uh, chisel tip though is, is still there. So it's got a little bit of give, so it's a little nicer to glide across the page. Um, but it's also, uh, unlike the... Five below ones, there's also a bit of give in the uh, bullet nib, uh, which is a little surprising. Not, not a full on, it's not a full on brush tip, but it's got a little bit of give to make it a little easier to kind of work with. And I really like that. So overall, um, not a bad buy. Um, I, I want to say, like I said, I want to say it was like $20. And $20 for a three pack that gives you this much variety. And the ink is really good from what I've witnessed. It goes down real smooth and blend. Uh, actually, I need to do a blending test, don't I? Probably should before I just move right on to. So let's see here. Well, I guess that is something to note that none of them have uh, color names on them. None of the markers do. Let's see here. Since they have so many blues, let's take a blue. Try to blend it into another blue that is mm, not really blending. It could just be that particular color Let's see here. Gray tone. Oh, that. Keep ending up with the record. That's kind of a problem. With the whole no having a name on the markers. Yeah, they don't really blend so much as that they layer on top of each other really nicely. I guess if you kept at it again and again and again, you could maybe get them to run together, but the kind of point of the matter is that they, they don't blend easily, which means that they're probably just best or layering on top of one another, which with gray tones is would get, get you some nice like cell shading type effects and stuff like that. Oh, actually, these guys. Ooh. Let's see here. It's supposed to be a blender. Let's blend. 
I know blenders are typically actually used to lighten things. I know that for a fact, but you can also sometimes get them to actually, you know, help blend the markers together, but, uh, it looks like that's a no-go. It is just to lighten them up and to, like, help remove them from the page, it looks like. So, uh, yeah. If you can see it, uh, online for, you know, $20 or cheaper if it's on sale, or maybe it's not even $20, I'll have to do some research and maybe put the price up on screen for you. Yeah, I'd say they're, they're worth the buy, but if you can't get them, you know, through, you know, walmart.com, go ahead, swing over by five below, get yourself a nice, uh, I think it's, well, I can just count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. But yeah, 12. You can get yourself a nice little 12-pack. doesn't have a blender. Um, the only part of it that's kind of soft and malleable will be the chisel tip, but it works. Very nice, you know, color palette. Alright, so now it's time to bring out the artwork and kind of get right into it. If you made it this far and you like what you've seen, please hit like, subscribe if you want to see more. Uh, I pretty regularly do art videos or uh, work on, you know, or either creative stuff or go into playing a game, do all sorts of stuff. So if you kind of like what you see here, maybe check out the rest of my channel if you like what you see subscribe for more um also uh needing to kind of shout out a fellow creator uh called uh, damien the rue and here on youtube uh he is the one that makes all the music that you've been hearing in the background of my videos ever since i first started uploading uh if you like the sound of the tunes that you're hearing um you might want to hit him up and see if you can get some for your your own uh, creative endeavors, whatever they may be. Anyway, uh, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you again next time. Goodbye.